Hello, I'm Renata, and today we are going to talk about Kubernetes, which you probably heard about it, but I'm going to tell you to don't believe the hype. I'm a DevOps consultant, and you can find me at renata.org. Okay, first of all, what is this? Uh, we are DevOps. Do we know things? Let's find out. Is Kubernetes good for you? Is Kubernetes right for you? Or is it just a marketing gimmick? We don't know yet. Let's keep watching. First of all, what the fuck is Kubernetes? What does it mean? Well, it's a Greek word for Helm. And what? Well, it's an open source platform made open source by Google in 2014. That is pretty nice, right? Well, if Google uses it, we all want it to. Well, not so fast. Let's see what we have to say about that. First of all, why do you even need Kubernetes? What is wrong with your current infrastructure, right? Uh, you have to consider if it's going to grow so much within the next five years. What are the migration costs involved? And what, what is the cost benefit? The reality is that many of us don't really need Kubernetes. No! Yes, I said it. If you don't have enough DevOps, if you don't have a large enough infrastructure, maybe it's not a good idea. If your client doesn't have too many servers, the promising technology will not solve your problems. If your infrastructure is not 100% AWS based, if you don't run on GCP, maybe it's not going to work for you. If your infra is too small, maybe Kubernetes is just too complex for what you're looking for. Uh, to infra server uh, doesn't need to be Kubernetes, right? If your infra is unique, which is my case right now, uh, if you have many too many custom clients, if you cannot use AKS, you cannot use GCP, maybe it's not, maybe it's just too much work. The thing is that Kubernetes is too complex uh, and it's famous for being complex. Uh, and you cannot underestimate the time, the cost, and the knowledge required for you, your team, and your company. And that's what is going to lead you to optimal results. But the internet told me I need it. Yes, of course. Actually, Google told the internet that you need it. You know that, right? And it works for Google, but you don't have $90 billion, right? Uh, well, and Google said you needed lots of things. I'm going to abstain from further comments. Well. Uh, Google wants to sell you things, Google wants to use Google Platform, and it relies heavily on Kubernetes, right? Uh, we are DevOps. We need to understand uh, what needs to be done to our infrastructure. We need to compare all of the platforms, all of the solutions available, and we need to correctly implement it to obtain the most cost-efficient, reliable solutions. Uh, it is true that Kubernetes is not bad, okay? I'm not saying that. Many companies have successfully made the move, and we have those companies here. Uh, they are usually quite corporations, right? Large corporations uh, like eBay, Nokia, Nordstrom. Yeah, you have, can read the case studies. But it doesn't mean that you need it. And you can, and you can say no to peer pressure. You're allowed to do that because your job, your bots are on the line, okay? And if it goes bad, you're going to lose your job. So the major idea is that Kubernetes migration is very serious and it's going to impact your infrastructure on the long term. Don't do it because it's cool. Don't do it because you're pressure and don't do it before proper research. It can go wrong and it will go wrong and you'll be the one to blame, okay? Treat your infrastructure with love. Treat your infrastructure with care. Changes are going to have long lasting effects. You love your infrastructure and to love you back, okay? Otherwise, it's going to bite your back in the bottom. Kubernetes is hard. Kubernetes, despite being open source, costs money. And Kubernetes won't save the world. Kubernetes won't cure cancer. And Kubernetes is not Jesus. So be mindful. Do the right choice. Think about it. And thank you. I'm Renata. Don't believe the motherfucking hype.